greetings and assalamu I am so happy that we are going to start our new academic session a little earlier. We all know why we are going to start it earlier. We want to ease ourselves into it online so that any mistakes we make, we apologize and we make that correct. And any issues that you have, we face together and we make sure that we do uh, and teach and learn online because we all know that it's not safe to meet just now. Having said that, all of you, I really, really miss you so much. Even all your issues, even with all your issues and with, with everything and with your success and everything, we're really, really missing you, especially me. So I have written a poem for you all. I've called it, I yearn, my dear child. So uh, I would like all of us to see this and share in my feelings for you all, my beautiful, beautiful Vibhaitriyas. I yearn. Dear child, Dear child, I yearn to hear your voice, the moans, the groans, the din, the noise. I yearn to hear your boisterous calls, the running feet and sliding in the halls. I yearn to walk my morning walk, hear your good mornings and stop to talk. I yearn to hear your delightful shouts in the playgrounds fields, oh no doubt. I yearn to see you stand on stage, tall and proud as we sing your praise. I yearn to see you march abreast, sing the school song with your hand on the chest. I yearn to hear the school bell ring and see you skip and jump and sing. I yearn to see the break time chaos, kicking the football and the ball you toss. I yearn to see you push and shove the canteen line as I stand above. I yearn to give the glare to you, the one I miss, I'm sure you too. I yearn to console you when you fall, to comfort, cajole and make you stand tall. I yearn to arbitrate your tiffs, all the headaches, oh now I miss. I yearn to see the look of pride when you achieve in your teacher's eyes. Come back to me, my dear sweet child. Let's start anew and go that extra mile. <laughs> 